This is Bob, and Bob wants his own roller coaster. So I've procedurally generated this absolute monster for him. I'm going to show you how the algorithm works and then how you can run the code yourself and tweak it to create different designs. Okay, let's begin. We're going to start with the most basic roller coaster you can imagine. It literally just loops back on itself. And if we view this as a line graph, this is called a Hamiltonian circuit. It's just a space filling algorithm where the start joins the end to form a loop. But it's kind of boring, so we're going to add some randomness to it. So to randomize this circuit, all we're going to do is pick a square at random, with the only condition being that it must be formed of two parallel tracks, and then we're simply going to rotate them. You might notice we now have two separate loops. So to join these two back together, we're going to pick another square at random, and this time the condition is that the two tracks must be part of separate loops, and then we're going to rotate those as well. And now we're back to a single loop. I'm just going to repeat this process with random squares, and I mean, you get the idea. Eventually, we'll end up with a completely random track. Well, we're definitely looking better, but it's still completely flat. So next thing is to add some height. This is the height of the track from start to finish, and you can see it's completely flat. It's always a zero. So we're going to change that by going up three and then back down three and then doing it again and then one more time and we're completely randomizing the gaps between the ascents and descents just to make it a bit more procedural. So this is the height of the track from a top down view and this grey area is when we're on the ground and you can see we've added some heights so we're going to start at zero zero and go all the way along and finally we're going up to the top which is this white area and then back down to the bottom layer and then we're going to go around and do it again up to the top and then finally one more time we're going up to the top and back down and then back to the start let's render this in minecraft okay bob is much happier now but i still think we can do better as none of the track goes over or under other bits of track so we're going to fix that next okay let's go back to the height map again and um, we're just going to remove anything that's not the top layer. And then anything that's in between the layers, sort of going up and down, we're going to mark as blocked. Then we're going to choose a square at random, with the only condition being that half of it's filled with track and half of it's empty, and then just extend into it. Then we can continue this process, and eventually the whole lot will be filled. Okay, let's render this in Minecraft. That's looking much better. You can see tracks going above and under each other. So the next step is just to repeat the process to add more layers. Starting with our two layer roller coaster, all we're going to do is extend it into the third layer. Wow, that's looking awesome. And it's just a case of repeating this process to add as many layers as we want. If you head on down to the description for the video, you should find a link to the code. All you've got to do is download it and you'll find instructions on how to run it as well. Once you've downloaded the code, you can start changing some of its properties, such as its width and depth and the number of layers. Oh, okay, that might have been a mistake. That is way too big, although Bob seems to be happy. You can also change the extend amount, which is the amount each layer is extended by. By default it's 1, but we can change it down to 1.2. This is a standard of 1, you can see each layer is quite big. But down to 0 0.2 you can see each layer is a lot smaller. You're also of course free to edit any bit of the code, so I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Well it looks like Bob's a lot happier now, although you could do him a massive favour just by hitting that like button. And I'd like to thank Hero Destrian for suggesting this video. So if you've got any ideas, anyone, just yeah, hit me up in the comments. And don't forget to check out the code in the description. Alright, I think that's everything. Thanks a lot.